Public enemy number one, Anopheles, the malaria mosquito. Wanted for willful spreading of disease and theft of working hours. For bringing sickness and misery to untold millions in many parts of the world. This tiny criminal is linked to the destinies of man in a cycle of disease transmission that could not exist without either man or mosquito. Each is solely dependent on the other for the existence of the dread malaria. Anopheles is readily distinguished from other mosquitoes by the fact that she stands on her head at an angle of 45 degrees or more. This newly hatched female has not yet touched human blood, therefore does not contain malaria. But if we follow her, we'll soon learn how she becomes a malaria carrier. Like all thieves and killers, she works best under cover of darkness. Locking and barring doors and windows will not keep this hungry prowler out. She can enter through a small crack. What will she find to steal here? Only a little blood, which this man, racked with the chills and fever of malaria, will never miss. Assuming her typical angle of 45 degrees or more, she injects saliva to make penetration easier. And in a few seconds, she begins to feed. But this man is sick. Along with his blood, she's drinking in the parasites, which cause malaria. Gorged with disease-laden blood, she makes her way to some cool, dark place, where she will rest for several days and digest the blood. Although the blood is digested, the disease parasites are not harmed in any way. On the contrary, they multiply to great numbers. Hungry again, she flies out as evening falls in search of blood. This time she carries with her the malaria parasites with which she is infected. Enjoying the peace and plenty of the home he's worked so hard to build, this man is healthy and happy. Little does he suspect he's to be the victim of this bloodthirsty vampire. Again, saliva is injected to make penetration easy. But this time, the saliva contains malaria parasites which enter the bloodstream. She dines on healthy blood and in payment leaves the chills and fever of malaria. <laughs> 